Welcome to the little mouse who wanted to fly story. Once upon a time, in a small burrow in a field, lived a little mouse named Max. Max was a curious little mouse, always eager to explore and learn new things. But there was one thing that Max had always dreamed of, he wanted to fly. One day, as Max was out exploring, he came across a beautiful butterfly fluttering in the breeze. Max watched in amazement as the butterfly soared through the air, dipping and diving with ease. Max was so mesmerized by the butterfly's flight that he decided right then and there that he would learn to fly too. Max ran back to his burrow and told all of his friends about his new dream. But his friends, who were all mice like him, laughed and said, Mice don't fly, Max. That's just silly, Max was disappointed, but he refused to give up on his dream. So, he set out to find someone who could teach him to fly. Max searched high and low, asking every bird and insect he met if they could teach him to fly. But no one was willing to help him, they all said the same thing, mice can't fly, Max. It's impossible. Max was about to give up when he heard a soft voice behind him. I can teach you to fly, Max, said a wise old owl. Max was overjoyed. He couldn't believe that someone was finally willing to help him. The owl took Max under his wing, quite literally, and began teaching him all about flight. Max worked hard, practicing every day. He would run and jump, trying to launch himself into the air, but it never worked. Max was beginning to lose hope, but the owl encouraged him to keep trying. Finally, one day, Max was able to launch himself into the air. It was a wobbly, unsteady flight, but it was flight nonetheless. Max was thrilled. He had finally achieved his dream. As Max soared through the air, he realized that he had a newfound appreciation for the world around him. From high up in the sky, he could see the beauty of the field in a way that he never had before. He could see the tiny details of the flowers and the leaves, and he could feel the warmth of the sun on his fur. Max flew and flew, not wanting his flight to end. But eventually, he knew he had to return home. When he landed back in his burrow, his friends were waiting for him. They were amazed when they saw Max fly, and they cheered and clapped for him. Max was so happy to have achieved his dream, but he knew that he had something even more important, the support and encouragement of his friends. From that day on, Max was known as the little mouse who could fly. And every time he took to the sky, he felt a sense of freedom and joy that he never thought possible. The End